Okay, so in the session, uh, it is uh, it is a you can say just like a surprise test, but not taken by me. You guys are going to ask the question with everybody. So I will uh, ask who is going to ask the first question from Java only, whatever we have covered. Anybody? Yes, yes, Jyoti, you want to ask something? Uh, yeah, so it is a basic question, but even I don't know answer for this. What is the difference between compile and run? Yes, very good thing. I really appreciate that. Yes. Yeah. So who is going to give the answer? What is the difference between compile and run? We compile the program and then run the program. So what is the difference? Yes. Hello? So Krishna is going to answer. Yeah, Krishna. Krishna raised the part. Yeah, so, Krishna, please. Yeah. Compiling means we are uh, uh, running the source code and converting into byte code. And uh, then we are executing that byte code that is called uh, running the program. Like yeah, initially, uh, while compiling, uh, yeah. we write uh, dot uh, Java, mm -hmm. uh, file name with dot Java, and for running, we are not uh, adding dot Java. Yes, so that is clear. Now, Jyoti is clear. Understanding, actually. Yeah, that is clear. Excellent. So, uh, let me summarize whatever he told. That is right. That wherever you create a Java file, that is called source code. Okay. So that is called source code. When you compile that source code with the help of Java C command, that is called compiler, it converts into the file. That is called dot class file. It is a byte code, right? So the process from Java file to, uh, you can say, create a dot class file, it is called compilation. And when you try to run that file, that is dot class, that is called runner or interpreter, okay? With the help of interpreter, you run it, okay? So great, 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 Jyoti. So anybody else who want to ask any other question? Guys, please come up. You guys are very smart. Anybody? You don't want to ask anything? Okay, let me ask that. What is the difference between instance variable and static variable? Or you can say instance property or and static property. What is the difference? This is the first or second session of the Java. Yes, sir. So what is the difference between the instance property and static property? Static properties are class properties. Yeah. And instance are without static keyword. That is. So what, uh, so what is the difference in terms of memory? Static, static. Uh, property sh uh, uh, shares the memory. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, let, let complete, uh, let uh, Krishna complete first and then everybody can give the answer. No, only a single person is not, you can say, everybody can give the answer. Yeah, Krishna, please proceed. Static properties basically shares the memory and it can be uh, override uh, with another uh, property. And instance properties uh, have individual memory where they can store in individual locations. Yes, yes, excellent. Anybody else want to say something about it? You can say, yeah. Anybody? No? Nobody want to say. Okay, everybody is agree uh, on that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so property that belongs to an instance of a class, it's called instant property. And uh, static property uh, that can be showed, uh, shared with, uh, with the other, uh, it is shared memory. Among all the objects. Among that's all why, the objects. That that's is why it, yeah, that's why in simple words we can say it is a class property because class is a collection of objects and it is shared among objects. Okay. Yes. What is the final keyword in Java? So uh, if we define the final method or final variable, then uh, we cannot change the value of, of the final. So uh, as I told, that is excellent, excellent. So the final keyword is used whenever it is used with the property, okay? So the value becomes final means it behaves like a constant. Nobody can change it in the program. You can only read it. Second every thing is time. that- Yes. Second yeah, every time that, it stores the same value. Yes, so it, it maintains the same value. <laughs> Nobody can change it. That's why it is called constant. So it's directly, yeah. So indirectly you can say that whenever you want to make a constant in your Java, you use the keyword. Final. Second thing is that maybe I have not told this thing that in the functions you also can use the final keyword. But whenever you are going to use the final keyword, what happens that final means nobody can change the implementation means you, nobody can change the 
body of the you can say that function and that's why final function cannot be overridden by the child okay if parent have any function and parent has declared a final so even this function is public but child cannot overwrite it because it becomes final is it okay what is the difference between list and set Malik has the, yeah yeah please 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 Joey yeah please list can contain the duplicate values and a set cannot contain the duplicate values excellent so that is the main difference that list contains the duplicates values so whenever in your in your in your Java program you want to store multiple elements okay so we use the collection so whenever you want to allow duplicate you will go with the list and if you want to consider the or uh, don't allow the duplicates then you can go with the set also. Okay. Okay. What is function overloading in Java? Function overloading or method overloading? So, Ju has tried. Uh, Jyoti has tried. Uh, yeah. So, uh, you can say Juhi also know the answer. Anybody else want to try before that? Yes, Kalyani. Yes. Don't worry. Just try. That is good. So yeah. In method overloading, we can uh, uh, write the same function again and again but with different types of uh, inputs like uh, uh, in terms of data types or uh, their uh, uh, what we say uh, data type should be different or their uh, i mean how we are uh, giving the data types that should be yes. different yes so yeah. there are three ways to give yeah excellent excellent you have tried well so you can say the, the way can be or it depends on parameter type of parameters sequence of parameter or number of parameters, either one of them is you, and that is called excellent, excellent. Yeah, so now you can say Deepti wants to give the answer also. Yeah, Deepti, please. Uh, so it is the actually multiple methods which has um, like uh, different parameters, but uh, name will be same. Yes, so whenever you want to create, yeah, excellent, whenever you want to create multiple function with the same name in the same class, it is not possible in usual manner, but you can make it possible using one of the three ways that I told you. Yeah, yeah. now Jui, you can also tell, yeah, what is your opinion about that? Yeah. Same, uh, like same name with different arguments. Okay, same okay. Name. so here one thing I'm just uh, watching clearly and that is my advice that whenever somebody asking, just take it, uh, you can say interview and try to uh, say uh, as much as you know about the concept. Okay, so that because the thing is that if the person is going to be convinced, then only to, he is going to or he is, he is going to hire you. Right? So just okay. say openly. Yeah. So now we have covered this thing. Anybody else have any question you want to ask with your colleagues? Anybody? So uh, most of the people have already participated. Anybody? Vikram, you don't have any question? Vikram, Shriya, Ranjana. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Wait, I am in the middle of the deployment. Okay. Okay. So now yeah. anybody uh, else? I have, I have one question, sir. Uh, yeah. What is meant by uh, method already? Okay. Great. So now we have, uh, uh, we got a question. What is method overriding? Yes, yes. Can any, anybody answer my question? Same name with same uh, input parameters. Ah, so, yeah. Like as an interview, you have to give the answer properly. Same method, but the bo body uh, only the different. We can pass different uh, functions. Yes, excellent. So you have given the right answer. You have to add few more things like uh, like you can say, this is only first thing is that overriding is only possible in case of inheritance, right? Because you need a overloading takes place in the same class. You have a same class, multiple functions with the same name. But in overriding, you need a inheritance, a parent class, a child class. Child in the class. parent class, you have a method with the, you can say, whole signature. Whatever is uh, written in the function except the body, that is called signature. Whenever you are using the same signature in the child, only you are changing the body right as you can say as you can say uh we can say uh, uh what lakshmi told us you have to change the only body implementation that is called function or uh, method overriding is it okay sir it is uh it is using the abstraction and implement uh interface yeah so you can say that this overriding is a normal concept 
you can say but in case of interface and abstract you can say overriding is must right because if your class or interface contains definitely the abstract method right so without mm -hmm. creating a child and overriding those abstract method you can't create the object of a child so that's why in the in the interface and abstract class this can be a mandatory okay one more question sir what is the difference between the abstraction and interface okay so yeah this can be a little bit tough question <laughs> what yeah. is the difference between the abstraction and interface interface you want to ask abstract or abstract class or interface i think that is the uh, right question abstract class and interface uh, okay abstract class and interface yeah yeah what is the difference between the abstract class and interface so i think in abstract class uh, there will there can be uh, multiple abstract methods and uh, there will be some methods which are already uh, defined the body will be there but in interface all methods should be hidden i mean uh, just declared not uh, uh, written excellent 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 that is the main difference in interface if you are not going to consider any specific case so the you can say general answer is that what is the general concept right in abstract class we have abstract and non abstract methods but interface by default every method is abstract so excellent excellent now and sir any uh, other we can achieve the multiple inheritance using the interface right yes you can achieve the you can say multiple inheritance using the uh, you can say right uh, interfaces because uh, because you have raised this concern that with two type of uh, you can say uh, you can say inheritance we have multiple and multi level so multi level is by default supported but if you want to achieve multiple means you want to make uh, multiple parents of a child in that, in that case interface using interface it is possible only that is a excellent 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 yeah so now what is the yeah yeah you want to say something kalyani no i have one question actually so you can yeah you go please ahead. please no 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 please you you guys are I... always on the first priority yeah they did somewhere like in multiple inheritance there is something called diamond problem i'm not i'm not sure if i'm using the correct terminology uh, in, but in 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 which in which scenario saying that a uh, multiple inheritance uh diamond problem diamond problem. Diamond, diamond yeah something like that yeah what is that what is that sir means if the uh, there is a one super class okay and it is having uh, there is a one child class and it is having the more uh, super classes means more parent classes and reverse scenario we are trying to achieve means if we are extracting the child properties into the parent class okay then this is not a possible uh, so diamond ambiguity occurs this kind excellent of, uh, excellent you are getting this point what is the answer and that is a very brilliant question and the very brilliant yes. answer just think about that a child a child of a parent okay there is a yes. child there is a parent a parent cannot be a child and child cannot be parent that is not possible at the same time hmm. getting my point yes if you try to make this thing technically you will try to make it but it will make a problem in terms of java yes or no parent property will come to the child or child property will come to the parent because they are both working as a they are just making uh, you can say uh, both type of role parent and child so that's why that is it is you can say not possible here. now yes. so uh, we have very less time so now we are going to ask the question and i want to see that you guys are uh, uh, focusing on every session or not in the string class we have a function is blank and is empty what is the difference between is blank and is empty it will consider the uh, uh... Blank space. I mean, uh, the space function also. Each blank will not consider the space, and uh, empty will consider. Uh, I guess it's the opposite. Empty will not right. consider the space. You yeah. are very close to that, but yeah, still I'm. I'm happy that you guys are going through the. You can say. Yeah. Uh, you can say recording, and you need to a uh, uh, little bit more focus. But I'm still happy that you guys are doing well in other batches. I have seen that they are trying to respond, but your response is uh, you can say more good. So excellent, excellent. So yeah. So now, anybody else have any question? Ranjana, so you want to say something? Between... Sorry. So yeah. what, what is meant by polymorphism? Or what are the different? I can give the answer. Uh, empty versus blank. Yes, please. A string uh, that is either empty or it contains uh, 
white spaces character like space or uh, new line character that is called a uh, blank string or blank space yeah so in simple words the thing is that blank means blank means blank what is the difference between empty empty means nothing empty means nothing nothing, nothing. so it means simple word just try to remind in such a way empty means nothing so for that space is space is something yes or no so yes. space is also there for empty function it is something so empty actually in, in, technically empty works on the length length should be zero then empty will return the true if space is there it will consider as a character and it will return false but if you take the example of blank in the blank means if you are giving the space it will consider still it is nothing blank means i will not consider the white spaces that is the only difference okay what is the difference between equal function and equal ignore case in a string equal function and equal ignore case ignore case equal means we are uh, comparing equal uh, characters and equal ignore means we are ignoring the uh, upper and lower case that's why equal ignore is ignoring the cases excellent sandhi excellent saurabh right uh, as saurabh told us that is also correct and what uh, you told me that is also correct it is not going to if if you are taking the example of equal it consider the cases if you are writing capital p okay and if you are trying to compare with the small p they are not equal okay. in scenario of equal method but if you are using the equal ignore case at the time of ignore equal ignore case they can they do not consider the case P capital P and small P are equal. Whenever equal, you know, equal ignore this. Got it? Okay. Yes, so I am going to wind the session. Okay, we will start the. You can say now the learning session. Before that, tell me honestly, this type of session is helpful or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Helpful, sir. Yes. Because sir. one because I will come attend once in a week or uh, I mean two weeks in a one. Yes, and reason is that you will see that it will try to motivate you that. some you are asking something and uh, anybody else will try to give the answer or not or somebody else is asking something and you are able to give the answer on and trust me in this way you are going to prepare for the interviews also exactly. are you getting my I'm point yeah i think so even it will boost your confidence i mean we are better prepared for the interview yes so this type of session should be in the future or not Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So thanks, and this session will be uploaded on the YouTube with these beautiful faces. 